Heart disease has been the leading cause of death in the United States since 1950. Every 36 seconds, it takes someone's life. Hey, sir, teams, Chloe Sparks joins us live from the Cardiovascular Institute of Northwest Florida amidst American Heart Month. Chloe, what are some of the risk factors? Well, Kelsey, Chris, there is physical inactivity. There could be a history of heart disease in your family, or you could even have high blood pressure. Dr. Samir Patel from the Cardiovascular Institute joins me live now to tell us more about some of these risk factors. And, you know, I'm 23 years old. How often do you see someone my age come in with some heart issues? Usually it's uh, uh, patients that have a family history of heart disease. Uh, in your age group, 20s and 30s, we'll usually see people coming in with palpitations. That's the most common complaint that we see, which oftentimes can lead to shortness of breath or chest discomfort. So the first thing we would do is check a baseline blood pressure, followed by an EKG, and if there's something concerning in the symptoms, we do for further testing. And now that you mentioned the blood pressure, it's pretty common to get your blood pressure checked and it's pretty <clears throat> easy to even do it yourself but we've got Lisa the medical assistant here with us to show us what this might look like just in case you've never seen it before and so if someone were to have some issues that you stumble upon after checking their blood pressure mm -hmm. then what might you guys do for them well if the blood pressure is elevated uh, we would check it again a second time try to rule out any potential exacerbating factors that may cause their blood pressure to be elevated. Oftentimes what we see in younger patients is they drink a lot of energy drinks and that mm -hmm. can cause blood pressure to go up or smoking. Mm -hmm. And if there's nothing we can uh, potentially help remediate, then blood pressure medications. So the coffee I drank this morning might affect this a little bit. One cup of coffee won't do too much, but if you had a coffee and a, and a cigarette and a monster drink followed by that, then that could cause your blood pressure to go up. And it sounds like we got, got the results in, Lisa. What is it? 132 over 76. What does that mean? I don't know. That's a little concerning. <laughs> That's normal. That's normal range. Okay. Yeah. And um, so how, what are the symptoms, how do they differ in women than men to know that you might have some complication? Uh, usually when we talk about heart blockages, there are s significant differences between males and females, but usually it's when they're older that we see those differences. Uh, usually in younger patients, like I mentioned, blood pressure, palpitations, they may have some chest tightness because of high blood pressure. Those are usually the ones that we see more commonly. Okay, and coming up later on in the 6 o'clock hour, we are actually going to show you a live look at me getting an EKG. So you, if you wouldn't like to see what that looks like, you'll get a live look there. Back to you, Chris. All right. Thanks a lot, Chloe.